Welcome back, queens. Today's video is going to be our first video talking about curly hair. Now, today, I want to cover some of the questions that my curly queens and my wavy ladies have been asking me. And most of those questions are usually about what kind of products they should be using, how they should be looking after their hair, and how to style it, etc. So obviously I can't cover every question you might have about curly hair in one video, but today what I want to do is give you a good place to start with what types of products you should be using and what a basic routine could look like. Let's jump right into step number one in our basic curly hair routine. Now step one is to cleanse our scalp. So for this, we are going to either use a sulfate-free shampoo or we also have the option of using a co-wash. Now a co-wash is essentially a conditioner that is being used in replacement of your shampoo to cleanse your scalp. Now, as with this product and any other product in this basic routine, you really do need to choose what is going to be most appropriate for your curl pattern, your hair type, your hair texture. It really does take a little bit of experimenting to find what will give you your best hair. So we have just finished cleansing our scalp. We can jump into step number two, which is to condition. Now you can either use a basic daily conditioner that kind of matches up with your scalp cleanser, or you can also use a deep conditioning treatment. Now, as far as deep conditioning, I do highly recommend incorporating this into your routine once a week. This is really important whether you are a longtime curly queen and are just looking to maintain the health and texture of your curls, or if you are someone who is transitioning from maybe heat damage or even chemical uh, permanent relaxers on your hair, these protein and moisture treatments really are going to make the world of difference in your curly crown. So after we have conditioned, we're gonna rinse that out and move on to our third step in our curly hair routine, which is our first step of the shower to use a leave-in conditioner. Now you have some options here. There are your basic kind of creamy leave-in conditioner. There is hair milks. There are curl butters, creams, curl smoothies. Some of these options are going to be a little bit heavier, which are more appropriate for curl types that are a little bit stronger, coarser, drier, and can kind of handle the extra weight of these heavier products and enjoy them and find them very moisturizing. There's also something for the other end of the spectrum, which would be to use a hair mist, which is more appropriate for someone with very fine hair strands that it won't weigh their curls down. So you can have the option of stopping at this third step. Your leave-in conditioner is essentially going to keep your hair hydrated until your next wash day. However, I do recommend going on to step number four for your best hair. Now, step number four is going to be hold. Now, hold can either come in the form of a hair gel, there is also hair mousses and other styling products. Essentially, this is going to give you more definition and more longevity to your style. So you can stop, like I said, with just your leave-in conditioner, keeping your hair hydrated and more frizz-free. However, these final steps for hold really are important because you can use this, for instance, a gel if you're doing braids, it's gonna keep your hair smoother and frizz-free for longer. Or if you're using these options in kind of wearing your curls out, it is going to maintain the shape of your curls and keep them more together and more frizz-free for longer, hopefully until your next wash. So these are our four basic steps in our curly hair routine. We have cleansing, we have conditioning in the shower or deep conditioning, we have our leave-in moisturizer or leave-in conditioner, and our product for holding our style in all week. Now, hopefully this helped guide you in what you're looking for for your curly hair routine. I do highly recommend avoiding products that contain sulfates and silicones, especially if you are freshly embarking on your curly hair journey. I do follow a bit of a modified version of the curly girl method, which I'll talk a little bit more about in upcoming videos. Um, personally, I have noticed a really big difference with cutting sulfates and silicones out of my curly hair routine and out of my products. So like I said, I'll talk about it a little bit more later. What it comes down to is you really do need to find what works best for you and your individual hair type because no two curls are alike 
and everyone needs to find what works best for their hair so that they get their best hair day every wash day. So stay tuned. I'm going to have some more curly hair videos coming up. Next, I plan on talking about some of my favorite tools to use for my curly hair. And I will also be doing some tutorials and walkthroughs on my personal routine. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed our video today.